Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. from Carrollton, Ohio. Some things I want to touch base on here. Um, some things that's been going on in the news here in Ohio. Now, the cases of uh, this COVID-19 is now up to... 1,137 confirmed cases. 19 people have passed away from this and also 276 is in the hospital. Let me go to another uh, thing here I want to show you. Now this is the stimulus package. Uh, over two trillion dollar um, well, calling it rescue package checks for individuals and families major expansion of unemployment benefits money for hard hit hospitals health care providers financial assistance for businesses now I have found uh, something uh, also disturbing on the internet. It was on um, it was on um, New York Times, where they are saying it was in. Actually, it was in the. Uh, Comments section of the New York Times where they're saying evangelists and also uh, other um, religious Americans are the ones that are behind this virus. Well, you can look for it yourself online. Like I said, it is in the um, is in the New York Times and in the comment section. There's a certain person on the internet that has been also accusing me and other Christians and. Uh, evangelists and pastors like myself causing this and now comes along the New York Times I wonder if that person sent uh, somebody at the New York Times their crazy uh, theories But you see, here's my theory behind everything. I believe, it, like I said, it was created in China. There was population con for population control. And it was to basically kill off the Christians in their country. So... Also, scripture, I want to read to you some scripture here in Philippians 4, uh, 6. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. See, that's what we do. As Christians, we we make our requests be made known to God through prayer and supplication and thanksgiving. We don't, you know, try to say, oh, we want God to, you know, curse the land and, and, uh, 
kill off people. No, only governments want that to happen, not uh, Christians. Also, I want to read to in First John four. First, First John. See down here at four, and before five. First John's in between. First John four is in between. Uh, in my Bible, three and five. Start with seventeen. Love has been perfected among us in this that we may have boldness in the day of judgment because he is so are we in the world. There is no fear in love but perfect love casts out fear because fear involves torment but he who fears has not been made perfect in love we love him because he first loved us You see, that's what we're supposed to be doing during time of fear, is loving one another. Perfect love casts out fear. There's been a lot of people loving one another and loving on other people through this, uh, this situation with this virus. It goes to show really what Christians can truly do when uh, the chips are down for the rest of the world. Is to come together and help one another in love. That's what it's really about. God wants us to be the church. God wants us to be loving one another not hating one another like some people want to hate me for preaching the truth and they hate me basically for even existing and they hate me for being on the internet they're the ones that's for hate not me God bless you. Have a blessed day.